turn the, the, the cup of the dynamite. Fairly common household items, but Elliot Mwebaze is showing us how they can make an uncommon difference. It may look like a splash dash affair, but this bicycle dynamo and various cables are making a difference to people who have no electricity. As you're pedaling, that tire, Basco tire, is, um, is uh, igniting. Actually, it's uh, rotating the dynamo, which converts that kinetic energy into electrical. So this particular charge of mine gets the electrical energy and um, converts it to something that is really suitable for mobile phones and uh, anything that uh, uses a USB, let's say a radio, MP3, iPod. So while you're riding your bicycle, you're charging your phone as well. Elliot came up with the idea roughly two years ago. For many, a charged cell phone is a given. For others, it's a luxury. There are thousands of people out there who really miss important calls just because they don't have where to charge from. So I, um, I sat down and looked at my bike. I'm like, okay, this is a dynamo which converts uh, kinetic energy into electrical energy. And I'm a telecom, in telecom engineer with a background of electronics and stuff. Why can't I do something out of it? Getting the device to work has been a process of trial and error. But Elliot persevered. Despite government efforts to improve electricity supplies in rural areas, mobile phone use is growing at a fast rate in Uganda. And an electrical power source is desperately needed by many who currently have to travel long distances to charge their phones. And Elliot has a bigger vision. I also added um, a flashlight on it. I realized that in the village, people travel longer distances to, to, to centers to buy candles and kerosene to, to, to light up their homes. So I added a flashlight to it. So as you're riding, you're hitting two birds with one stone. You're charging your phone and you're charging the, the flashlight for, for use at home. The innovation has already won Elliot some awards, but the biggest challenge remains funding. Only then will the bicycle charger make a real difference. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Kampala.